how to provision Yalink phones via tutorial. In this video, we will use Yalink T41P to demonstrate the auto provisioning. However, the same procedure can be used for other Yalink phones as it is very similar. Before you start, the first thing you need to do is to reset your phone to factory settings. Unless your phone is brand new and is currently set to factory settings, then you don't have to do this step. Otherwise, navigate to your phone web interface. You will need the phone IP address in order to access the phone web interface. To obtain the IP address of the phone, inside the phone home screen, click on menu and then status. And under IP address field, you will see your phone IP address. Enter the address in your browser. In our case, that's HTTPS 10.1.0.245. You will be prompted with a certificate warning. Add the site to the exceptions and log in as an admin. If you have not changed the admin password, enter admin for both username and password. Or in case you did, you will have to enter your own password. Once logged in, inside the settings menu, navigate to upgrade tab and click on reset to factory settings button. It will take a minute for your phone to reset and reboot. And once done, you need to check your firmware version. It is important that your phone is loaded with the appropriate firmware version. In our case, we are using Yalink T41P model, which means we need 3681 version of the firmware. Different models may require different firmware versions. You can look up which firmware version is supported for your device at wikibicomsystems.com slash UADs to check which firmware version is currently installed. Simply log into your phone web interface and under status menu, look for firmware version field. If you have trouble installing the firmware, please contact Bicom support team. Next, you will have to adjust UAD settings, create the extension and register your phone. Inside the tenant settings, under auto provisioning section, enter the username and password for provisioning server. Remember this as you will need it later in this tutorial. Once done, click save to apply the settings. Next, select desired tenant and under tenants settings menu, navigate to UAD. Find your device and open the device edit options. Make sure that under general section, status is set to active and under auto provisioning section, Auto provisioning and DHCP is set to yes. Once done, click save to apply the settings. Next, under extension menu, click on add extension. Select your device from UAD list and under location, set remote. Click next step button. Specify the extension name and email. Select the department and under the Mac, enter the MAC address of the phone. You can find the MAC address on the back of your phone and inside the phone web interface under status menu. Once you have entered the MAC address, click save to apply the settings. This completes all the settings you need to do inside the PBXware. Next, you will need to register your Yalink phone by setting up the provisioning server. Easiest way to do this is through the phone web interface. Once logged in under settings menu, click on auto provision and under server URL, enter your server address slash prop. In our case, that's HTTP 10.1.119.16 slash PROV. Under username and password, enter the provisioning server username password that you have previously entered under tenants server settings. Once done, click on auto provision now button to apply the settings. If you have entered everything correctly, your phone will reboot automatically. Once your phone is finished rebooting, 
you should have successfully registered your phone to PBXer. Thank you for watching this video, and if you need more help, be sure to visit Bicom Systems Wikimedia page.